Back during the 1950s, 60s, and 70s, Savage Arms produced some affordable, reliable uh, Model 24 combination guns. Combination guns was a, a rifle barrel over top of a shotgun barrel. They had various gauges and calibers. Now they've come back out with this thing, reintroduced it, a modernized version called the Model 42. Uh, this Savage Model 42, it shoots uh, either 410 shock shell or 22 long rifle ammunition. Um, there's a version coming later with a 22 Magnum barrel on top, 410 on the bottom, and others may be on the way later, different gauges, just don't know. But this is a pretty good combination, one of the most popular that uh, was in the Model 24. Now this modernized version, the Model 42, is uh, it's lighter uh, than the original, it's shorter, it's handier than the original, it's got a black polymer stock, it's got uh, openings easily, got your uh, 22 long rifle barrel on top, your 410 barrel on the bottom, 410 barrel is just cylinder bore, uh, no choke to it, um, the barrels are uh, 20 inches long, but it still gives you an overall length of just under 36 inches, a little bit shorter than a yardstick, and almost as light. This thing weighs in a little under four and three quarter pounds, and it's real handy to use. It's got a cross bolt safety, uh, which blocks the hammer. It also has a hammer block on the trigger where the hammer cannot contact the firing pins unless the trigger is pulled. Um, it uh, has a rebounding hammer, so it comes back every time it's fired, so you can switch your uh, barrel if you want to. And I'm gonna cock this and show you. Fire the upper barrel, you leave the hammer nose like it is, you push it forward, and it fires the lower or 410 barrel. Anyway, it's easy to open. You can open it one-handed. Uh, the extractors on it are manual, and I found it easier just to, to flick out the uh, 22 long rifle empty case with my fingernail, but this manual extractor pushes up to extract the 410 and the 22 long rifle empty cartridges. Uh, the sights on it are fully adjustable on the rear for windage and elevation. The sights are polymer. Uh, this rear sight removes for a scope based attack there if you want to put a nice lightweight scope on it. Anyway, it's a good uh, good shooting gun, uh, plenty accurate. Now my eyes ain't what they used to be, but I can still shoot uh, one inch groups at 25 yards with a 22 long rifle barrel. And the, uh, the 410 barrel is really handy for around the campsite or whatever, or around the homestead. If you need to dispatch a venomous snake or whatever, it patterns real tightly close up. Uh, the pattern for bird hunting and all, at about 25 yards, looked about maximum to uh, reliably, maybe even 20 yards, depending on the shell you use, to uh, reliably take a, a bird. But anything further than that, you switch to your top barrel. So this gives you a lot of uh, choice in ammunition. You can use buckshot, birdshot, PDX-1 defensive ammunition, whatever you need to uh, in the 410 barrel, and then uh, 22 long rifle ammunition in, the, in your upper barrel for uh, hunting. Uh, just plinking, having fun, whatever you want to do. It's a good knockabout gun just to throw in a pickup truck or whatever, to put in the backpack, you can do that. It's just a, a good, reliable gun. I'm glad to see Savage bring these back. I think it'll be very popular for them. It's the Model 42 from Savage Arms. This 410 barrel here is very versatile. You can use it for uh, with birdshot for hunting or whatever, but the buckshot loads work pretty good too. This is a two and a half inch federal buckshot load. It's got four uh, triple out buckshot, which are about 35 caliber, weigh about 62 grains each. And on the buckshot, you know, a lot of people don't think much of 410, but the 410 shoots these buckshot at about the same speed as does the 12 and 20 other gauges, but it just don't throw as many of them. You've only got four in here instead of uh, six, eight, or nine, uh, and you do in the larger gauges. But it's still very effective. It'll do the job if you need doing it. It patterns pretty well out about 25 yards. And it'll work if you need buck chuck or something. I'm gonna shoot some of this new uh, CCI quiet ammo. It's a 40 grain bullet running about 680 uh, or so out of this uh, Savage. Anyway, it doesn't make much noise. If you need to shoot something, you know, if you're in the neighborhood or whatever, don't alarm the neighbors. It's a pretty quiet load. You don't even need hearing protection for it. Works really well. And uh, it's, it's accurate out of this rifle. And if you need to need to hit something, but, uh, you know, you don't need the full power, high-velocity stuff, this will work for you.